Hi! Apa kabar? Ni hao and manakaw. Whether this is your first time tuning in or you have been following our daily Devo video, I just want to thank you for being with us. I pray that God will bless your heart and speak to you through His Word today. I've been reading the book of Joel and this book is about the warning of God's judgment to come on Judah because of their sin. And He encouraged the covenant people to repent and return wholeheartedly to the Lord. Joel 1.13 especially um, captured my heart. It reads, Put on sackcloth and lament, O priests. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Go in, pass the night in sackcloth, O ministers of my God, because grain offering and drink offering have, are withheld from the house of your God. The word that I'm not really paying attention to almost all my Christian life until I enter Bible school is the word lament. I didn't know how to appreciate this gift from God. I mean, I've been taught when I grow up as a Christian about thanking God, praising God, honoring God. Lament, not so much. Um, don't know. I, it probably doesn't sound spiritual or faith filled or even positive to me as much as worshipping God, thanking God, or honouring God. But I've learned this is so important. What is lament? It is expressing deep sorrow, grief, and sadness. In this verse 13, God calls the people to repentance for the sins that they committed. And he allowed invasion of locusts. Locusts is big and huge uh, insects that flies in to destroy the, la the the crops and the plants. It happened in Judah and he cut off all resources like fruits and crops, like apple and promogenate. Is that how you pronounce it? Promogenate? Anyway, if you want to know where uh, apple and promogenate found, it's in the book of Joel. You know, God cut off all these resources and he told them to lament and cry out before him. This tells us that our God is a compassionate God. He knows that we are human with emotions. In fact, He made us with emotions. And He knows what will help us. So He allows us to lament and mourn for people and things in our lives. He does not short us of the process of lament. Why is it so important to lament? One thing that I've learned is when we lament, we realize that our deepest need and our greatest desire is Christ himself, who knows me, understands me, and loves me the most. It's also in the man that we recognize that Jesus is the source of our lives. It's in those moments when I lost someone who is dear to me, when I lost a precious moment, a meaningful relationship, Maybe a source of income, a wonderful opportunity, that I become aware that nothing in this world lasts forever except God who is the source of my life. If I have Jesus, I have everything. If I have everything without Jesus, I have nothing. Jesus plus nothing equals to everything. During this MCO, God has given me dreams which bring me back to the memories of my past that I am not process my emotions like lament. One of it is the loss of being parent by my father and mother. Those of you who know, I grew up under the care and nurture of my grandmother. So I did not realize I have this void in my heart and in, and in my life that needs God healing and redemption. And also there are certain sins that I've committed in the past and even in the present, I'm not bringing it before God. So God said, come on, you need to look back and lament before me some of the losses that you have experienced in your life. He said that I carry a lot of rubbish, a lot of baggages of pain and hurt, which I myself did not realize until the Lord bring it to me, reveal it to me. My good shepherd teaches me to learn to lament and express my grief over those losses in my life. He say I don't need to carry it. 
and he wants to set me free. In fact, he carried it all for me on the cross. He did that exactly for me and for you. So the reflection question of the day is, can you think of someone or something that you need to bring it before God to walk you through the process of lament? If yes, turn it over to the Lord and allow Him to help you. It could be a missing moment that you could have had with your children, spouse, family member, maybe a loss of job, business or study opportunities, a loss of someone who is dear to you, a loss of calling, dreams or goals, a broken relationship or even sins that you have committed, mistakes that you have made, that we need to bring it before the Lord and lament before Him. Let's reflect. God bless you.